welcome in to another Woolly Review. And today we have Skip Years Maxi Sugar Rush. Now this is a two-ply, 50 grams, 280 metres approximately. A two-ply is a lace weight in the USA. In the colour, 215. On camera it looks like it's royal blue. It's not quite royal blue, but it still pleases me. This is 100% mercerised cotton. Mercerised is giving it that silky sheen and it helps the cotton to be stronger, last longer, and it also gives it a slight softness as well. So, we've got to give this a go. Now, I've never done one off of a spool before. And this is actually a prize win from the last Woolly Wednesday. So I can't do a full swatch. Heck, I'm not going to be able to do anything if I can't find the end. Where's the end? There it is. No, that's not it. Is it? No, that's not it. Oh my gosh. How am I going to find the end? Where are you? Peekaboo. I have no idea how to find the end. Oh my gosh. I'm going to really mess it up. Dear me. I'm not cutting any off. So whoever this has gone to, none is missing. Definitely not going to use this much though. But... Of course, it's cotton, so there's no elasticity there. It feels sheeny, it, but it feels like cotton. It's got that slight roughness to it. Now, I'm using a size 3 hook. When it comes to lace weight, you can use anything from a 0.75 up to a 3. I'm using a 3. 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So we're just doing a very small swatch with this, half size than normal. And the first row is going to be single crochets. And if you have a nosy in the background, you will see some stitch markers now these along with a lot of others are on my Etsy store which is linked down below underneath the details for the sugar rush and I put new ones up each weekend at the moment so if you'd like to take a look please do and this is twisting, which I do not like at all. I hate twisting. What am I on about? This is what I'm on about. It's self-twisting. I hate that. Hate it. Hate it. The good thing is this isn't splitting. But it does kind of feel like I'm working with nylon. Take that however you wish. Feels like I ought to be making like a net with it. Let's chain two and turn because we're going to do half doubles now oh my gosh I mean it feels okay in the hand it just feels a little bit like working with nylon I, I don't know if I can explain it 
in the other way. And no, I haven't used pure nylon to crochet with before, but that's kind of what it feels like. It's what I ex would expect from crocheting with pure nylon. And I've just dragged another bit of the stitch through that wasn't meant to. Of course, having such a thin thread isn't for everybody. Some people prefer the chunkier, some people prefer the lighter. I'm kind of an in-betweeny. I like anything from a one weight up to four ply and then I like an Aran up to a super chunky because I'm weird. I don't like the in-between but I like those. Right, one row of single crochet and then that will be the end of our little swatch. Like I said, I don't want to use up too much as this is a prize going to the winner. They already have it or it's still on the way. This is a, a nice thread, I think, to make jewellery. Like if you're going to make bracelets or necklaces or earrings, I think this would be fab. Is there anything else? Why am I not going in the stitches? Why am I going around them? Silly woman. And the last one going in now. Wow, and I did use everything that I took off. Okay. So there we have it, our little swatch. Not bad, not bad. Feels rough. Like the whole mercerized bit is just gone, lost, forgotten. Twisting. Twisting. Let's do a slow frog for half of it. This is going to be majorly kinky, isn't it? And let's stick that frog on a moped. <laughs> Look at the kink. Look at the kink. Wow. That's kinky. Get your minds out of the gutter it's not that kind of channel um i have no idea how i'm going to wind this back on and i apologize to the winner but you know the good thing is i haven't taken any off so please bear that in mind You've still got the full amount on there. And I'll just tuck that under. And put its little ball band back on. Nobody will ever know. Cough, 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 cough. So, Scopier's Maxi Sugar Rush. Hmm. So one great thing with this Scapiers is 87 colours in this. You are bound to find the, the colour that you're after. 87 to choose from. The cheapest I found this was on Rito for £2.55. Um Yes, everything all will be linked down below, but 87. £2.55 for 280 metres of a two-ply. Two-ply or not two-ply? No, I've already told you it is two-ply. Okay. Would I turn my back on it and say, oh, heck no. No. Would I be... 
that's the only one you've got in the shop that's it oh fine no would i be well you haven't exactly got what i'm after but do you know what that will do mm, no I was intending to give this a three and a half, but with 87 colours of this, I think that's a major plus all on its own. The thing that has taken a mark off for me personally is the fact that it could be so much softer. Um, it could be nicer to work with unfortunately it is very very kinky and it twists and for me that's that's a mark off that's that's done if it weren't for that it would be the full five but it's okay it's okay i wouldn't want to use it for a for a household item um but maybe for you know not, not like a, a dishcloth or a flannel as an example I might well use it as decor, but I wouldn't use it as on the body. Nah. We all have our opinions and this was just mine. Just mine. Hopefully, you'll get to use yours next week when we come back for another Woolly Review. For now, this is Scapiers. I'm Lisa, these are my stitch markers, and I'm out of here. So take care, have a good one, bye.